Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with Flex Film. And we're gonna do a video today about a slitter rewinder machine. It's a little bit off topic, you know, but it is in the tent world. Um, you know, a lot of people use these machines if they're distributing film or manufacturing film to cut rolls down into different widths. And, but this particular machine will also take a roll and allow you to roll it onto another roll. So you can have 50 foot rolls, 25 foot rolls, or whatever increment that you wish. This is a really simple, basic machine, and I'm gonna go over the details about what's on this machine and how it works, and then we're gonna demonstrate, um, you know, actually rolling down some film and even cutting film. Okay, what I wanna do now is I just wanna run through this machine and the different parts so that when I do the demonstration, you'll already be ahead of what's going on. And um, I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna just start with this big uh, mandrel. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it real quick. This is where you obviously slide a roll of film onto this mandrel, and then you close it up. You know, you lock it in. We'll, we'll show you the details in a minute. And as it spins, because it will spin the, the roll, this is what you'll cut the film with. This is a handle that's actually on a bar that I can move up and down. And this is just a blade that I could buy at Home Depot. It's a very, it's one of the thickest ones we could find to, you know, to keep it from wobbling and making a bad cut on the film. We'll demonstrate that in a minute, of course. Over here is the, uh, the engine and there's a gearbox right here and it turns this um, uh, mandrel, uh, it doesn't turn this mandrel, it turns here. The film actually spins on the mandrel. The mandrel stays stationary. Um, this is a little fancy counter. I can put it on count. I can put the number of uh, linear feet that I want to roll down onto the core. See, I can put a core on here if I want to roll down. I can put a roll of film on here if I want to cut. Um, if I'm going to roll down and I put a core on here, which I'll show in a minute, I'm actually going to put the roll of film up here uh, across this across this area, and I'm going to have this is going to adjust according to the length of the roll that I'm going to roll onto the core that I'm going to roll onto. So. This right here is actually got some brakes on it to keep tension on the film as it's rolling over this bar. And this wheel right here is spinning and it's keeping up with the count. And, and I program how many feet I want it to go before it automatically stops. There's uh, something back here you really can't see very well. We'll get a shot of that in a minute. It's a variable speed control. I can actually turn this on. The engine comes on, it spins the rolls and I can control it variably how fast or how slow that I want it to go. And that's about it. This is a real simple machine. It's very heavy, very uh, industrial. And I'm gonna begin on the next scenes to show you how we can actually cut a roll. And then of course, I'll show you how we can re rewind a roll. And that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, in this scene, what we're gonna do is actually cut a roll of film. I've got a 60 inch roll of film, it's 100 feet long. I'm gonna cut it, I think, uh, 24, 36. So let me go get it. I'm gonna put it on this mandrel and we're gonna start the cutting process. I'm gonna slide it on carefully. Make sure it doesn't telescope on me because that's what film does when you grab it like this and force it. Telescoping is like when it does this. It's not very fun. It does it too much. Then I'm gonna tighten everything down with this um, this tool that we keep handy on the side That's for step one. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it over this this rubber sleeve that expands when we tighten it up to keep the core. Okay, now we got that. All right, so I want to just make sure this is up against the edge of this really well, which it is. And um, I'm going to now tighten it. So I want to expand that rubber so that this core doesn't slip as it's spinning. So I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to I have my back to the camera. I can turn this. It hadn't started catching yet. Now we're, we're catching. So now that rubber is expanding. Now I know this, uh, this whole core will spin when I need it to. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab my tape, put it over here. I'm going to measure the cut that I want. This one I'm going to want a 36. So I'm going to have to adjust this blade to 36 inches. 
I also want to double check over here to see if this side is 24, which is right on the money. Now, what I want to do is go to my variable, variable speed, turn it on, and I want to turn it on really slow, like this. This is optional, but we find that we get smoother cuts when we put tape on the film, which I'm going to do here like this. So I can cut all the way around and I won't scar the edge of the film up if my blade holder touches that as we cut through it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the speed up to about 60, whatever that means. I'm not sure what the the RPMs are and the, the key is to just be gentle and don't force anything and don't cause this blade right here to bend if that blade bends it does this and it frays the edges up so there's an art to this to do them really good but I want to show you how smooth we can get these cuts we just lightly drop the blade down it almost pulls itself now this blade's going to go through the film almost like butter this is a sharp blade but then it's going to hit the core so you just hit the core so now I'm just going to I'm not going to force anything. I'm just going to sit here and let the weight of it just slowly cut it. And once it cuts through, it'll actually stop spinning on the right side because that'll, that side of the roll will become detached. You can kind of clean the film up as you go along. <laughs> but um, probably need to put a little more pressure on it. And that's how you cut it. See, I can actually separate this half of the roll now I just got to go cut the other half off. And now our film is cut. I'm going to go cut everything off. Turn the speed back down to zero, which I need to do. And then um, I'm going to undo everything in the front. I'm going to pull the swing arm out. I'm going to take each roll off carefully one at a time. And then we'll go to, to our packaging table and we'll start to package the product. And that's how it cuts. Okay, in this scene, what I want to do is I want to actually rewind some window film from one roll to another uh, to onto a core and I'm going to roll about 50 feet so the first thing I want to do I want to move our cutter out of the way because we don't need the blade in our way I'm going to get my roll of film this is a 40 inch roll of film I'm going to carefully put it on the top section here and I'm going to secure it got a couple of pieces of tape on it I'm going to Remove those and put them to the side. Now, I want to roll this on. I want to roll this roll onto a new core, so I want to get another core. We buy these cores in bulk, and they come with a um, a little uh, adhesive strip. So we have some sticky right there to allow the film to stick to. But the core fits onto this mandrel like so, and then I'm going to lock the mandrel down got a couple of tools over here that tighten things up for me show you how that works now what I want to do before I tighten this down is I want to line everything up and the way I want to line everything up is I'm going to ease this film over here I'm going to pull it down and what I want to do is I want to make sure it, it rolls off even on my core. And then from there I can see where it's pretty even. Now I want to come over here and tighten. We've got a kind of a weird slitter here that requires us to have to use a screwdriver or some lever to have to tighten this down. So this core won't, I guess what we call free spin on here. And there's a, there's a rubber, like a piece in there that we pinch it expands in the core and we keep the core from from moving now the core is going to be spinning on this mandrel and i've got it tightened here now remember that that little strip i was telling you about which i'm going to line it up to where i want it right here i'm going to peel it off right here now put it to the side this is the trick I'm not as good as this as other people, believe it or not. Okay. Now I'm re actually ready to start the 
rewinding process when I set my counter. This is my counter. I know I want to roll 50 feet. So I want to program it to 50, which I'm there. I want to set it in, reset it to zero. Then I want to come over here. I always like to put my hand on here just for tension. I don't want to put my hand on there. I want to put a, put a rag on there. Probably don't have to do this, but this is what I do. Now I'll turn my, turn my counter on, turn my variable speed on, and then go really slow. And that's how we rewind. I'm gonna sit here and look at my counter. I'm already at eight feet, 10 feet. Um, I'm actually probably, for the video, more nervous than I would be if I wouldn't be in film because I don't want to make a mistake. I hardly ever make a mistake, but you know, I'm, I'm sure I could go back and watch this video and laugh at everything I'm doing because I'm probably in panic mode right now, so I don't make a mistake. So it's just a video. I can't hurt anything. But we're at 30, well, 40 feet, 41 feet, 45, 46. I want, I want you to see how this stops by itself. I'm not going to touch anything. It stops at 50. There's 50. I know it's 50. I cut it off, turn the speed back down. Then what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and cut it. And then I'll uh, roll it on tighter and I'll put the tape on it really neat. And then we'll be done um, with the rewind. <laughs> Thank you.